Hi and welcome students. In this Microsoft Outlook 2016 tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create tasks. Let's get started. Alright, so tasks within Outlook can be found within the task pane. And you'll see right down here, I'm currently in my mail module. But if I go right over here, it's my task module. So let's go ahead and open that up. Now tasks within Outlook are used to uh, help you organize what you have to do. So these are upcoming things that you have to get done. You can apply a task to an email message that you need to respond to. And they're basically things that you need to follow up with in the future. This is different from a calendar appointment because calendar appointments are somewhere you need to be in most cases and something that you need to do for a specific amount of time, whereas tasks can be like projects or like a to-do list. All right, so let's get started. Within the task module here, you're going to see up here in the top left, it says to-do list. Currently, I do not have anything in here, so it says we don't have anything to show, but I could add something by going right here where it says type a new task. And so I could click this. And when I do this, I'm going to type in the thing that I need to do. So I'm going to type in complete chapter 11 practice tasks. All right, so I type that in. And when I'm done typing that, I press enter. OK, and I am currently uh, recording this on a Friday. So um, when you do that by default, most of the time it'll default to a Friday due date, which is today for me. But for you, it'll say likely sometime this week. OK, so you can change your options whenever you create a task. And so I'm going to go over how to uh, create a new task from start or from scratch rather with all of our task options. So the way that we do that is we go to the home tab and in the new group you can click right here and this one says new task and this will create a new item in your task view and so right here is where we could type in the subject like read chapter 12. There we go I type that in and the next thing I need to do is apply a due date. For the due date, it's right here. I'm going to apply the due date of tomorrow, which is uh, a Saturday for me. So we'll put that as the due date for tomorrow. This is really good for organizing homework assignments or something like that, um, or work assignments that you have going on at your job. So I put the due date for tomorrow. And so this is reading. And so maybe this is an optional activity in my class. So I'm going to change the priority to low. OK, great. So another cool thing about tasks is you could actually set up a reminder so that you get a reminder on Outlook that says, hey, uh, you have to make sure you get this done by a certain time. So I'm going to go ahead and click this checkbox for reminder. OK, and for the reminder, maybe I put it as tomorrow morning. OK, so I'm going to change the reminder to be tomorrow, which is the 14th. And then I'll change the time for the reminder to 9 a.m. OK, great. So I've applied the reminder. And then next thing that I need to do is go right up here to the task tab, actions group, save and close. And that's how we create a new task. And that one's due tomorrow. So you'll see the due date right here. And this little flag signifies that it's a due date. And it says for tomorrow, you need to read chapter 12. That looks great. All right, so the next thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to show you how to change that due date. And let's say that I need to actually get it done by next week. So I'll click on read chapter 12. And I'll go right here to the follow up group and I'm going to choose next week. And you'll see it changed the due date right here to next week. OK, great. So now I'm going to go ahead and show you how to create a new task with a recurring event. And so if I go to the home tab, new group and I click on new task, you'll see that it opens up the new task pane. And this time I'm going to add in my birthday. All right. So after you type in your birthday, you can go to the start date. OK, and so uh, right here, the start date, you can click that. And for this task, I'm going to just put October 31st for Halloween since that's next month. OK, so I applied the uh, start date for next month. OK, and the next thing I'm going to do is set a recurrence. And so that will remind me every day, week, month, or year. So if you have like a weekly assignment that you need to do, or it's something that you want to do every single week or month or year, you could actually set it up to recur every single time. So then Outlook will remind you to do that thing. And so um, right here, I'm going to just go ahead and click yearly. And it says every October 31st is when I want it to repeat. And then down here is no end date. All right, so I'll go ahead and click OK. And you'll see that it says starts every October 31st. OK, and then we have an option for a reminder. Maybe I remind myself every uh, September 30th so that I have a month to plan for whatever I guess I'm doing on my birthday. OK, all right, so that's our recurrence. And I'm going to click Save and Close. 
All right, so after I click Save and Close on this task, you'll see that it just brings it right down here, which is next month is my birthday. There we go. That's all set. So that task will remind me in just uh, uh, the end of the month here of September for when I uh, my birthday is coming up. So that's great. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you from the mail module how to uh, apply some tasks. And so I'll go right over here to the mail module. Okay. Within the mail module, you'll see this takes me to my inbox, and I can actually point to the tasks button in the navigation bar to uh, view a tasks peak. That's right down here. If I hover over it, it'll show me my different tasks that I have coming up. And notice that the tasks that I already created are showing up in this view right here. Okay. Now one of the cool things from here is you could actually add in a brand new task by clicking right here. And maybe I just want a task of have a great day. Great, and I press enter and that's going to be due today and I have to make sure that I have a great day today. If not, then um, I won't, I guess, complete that task. All right, so the next thing is uh, I'm going to show you how to uh, choose a message from my message list and apply a task to that. So let's say that this message here, I need to follow up with it. The way that you could follow up is if you hover over the message in the uh, view right here, you'll actually see a flag and this is the flag that you also notice from your task view and it will take it straight to your to-do list. So if I click on this, there we go, it will keep that red flag there for follow-up and if I go down to my task peak down here, you'll notice that it says the name of the uh, task, okay, which is right here, welcome to your new Outlook. Okay, so that's going to be an email task. You could also do this uh, with more specifics by double clicking on the email and then choosing in the message tab, the tags group, you could click this button right here which is follow up. If you click follow up, you could then choose the specific day, month, year, anything that you want for your task. And let's say I want this one due next week. So I need to respond to this email by next week. Then you can close this. Great. And you'll see that right here. It's in your task as well. Okay. As you complete tasks, you just click on the flag. And when you complete it, it'll put up a check and it will remove it. So right here, let's say I get respond back to this email. I click it to complete it and you'll get a green check mark. That way you know that you responded or did the uh, task that was needed for that email. So hopefully this video has explained a little bit more about how to complete tasks within Microsoft Outlook 2016 and I hope this video was helpful for you. If it was helpful, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel. And if you have any questions, please put them in the comment section below and I'll do my best to respond to you. Thank you so much for watching and have a great rest of your day.